Hi everybody, welcome to this XP Pen Artist Pro 13.3 Holiday Edition Review. And that's a mouthful. My name is Milivoj Popovic, and you might know me from such movies as Today We Kill, Tomorrow We Die, and Gladys, the Groovy Mule. Now, folks at XP Pen sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous tablet to do an honest review on it. And that's exactly what I plan to do. But I gotta say right at the start, I'm really, really impressed with it. And I'll tell you why. But first, let's do the unboxing. Oh yeah, before we start the unboxing, I have to say I already opened it. I just had to, had to see what's in there. And uh, so you'll see some of the packaging already opened. And uh, you also get a poster inside. I don't know if that's just for the holiday edition. But of course, uh, my daughter, she loved the poster, she took it. And yeah, it's already on her wall, so uh, just wanted to share that before we do uh, what would then be uh, a fake unboxing. Uh, so yeah, let's start. XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro Holiday Edition comes in this really nice red box with some great art on it. Once you lift the cover, you can see the amazing white cardboard. But as soon as you remove that, you see the beautiful XP Pen tablet. Say hi to my reflection! Hi reflection! As soon as you take the tablet in your hands, you can feel the build quality. It has the rubber strips in the back, so it's not going to slide on your table or stand. The way it feels really nice. It's not light or heavy, and it's just so shiny and new. Mm, mm, mm. And what do we have here? Yeah, you also get a stand. And the stand feels sturdy, strong, really nice. You lock the leg into position and you're good to go. Now you're left with a mystery box. Let's dive into that. Inside you find a glove, so you don't smear that beautiful screen with your filthy hands. Moving on, you got all the cables you need to hook this baby up and a set of stickers that you can put on your buttons so you know what action you map to what button. Very, very convenient. You got your quick guide here and your warranty, as well as a thank you note for guys at XP Pen. Exciting stuff. And you get this Phoenix Jigsaw Puzzle. And I will definitely give that a go. And a microfiber cloth to clean your screen. When you are surrounded with people that insist on touching your screen with their fingers. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Velko. And what do we have here? A really nice, sturdy, big case that when unscrewed reveals our XP pen pen. Pen pen. And I love how this pen feels. You have the rubber bottom half, so the grip is nice and firm. It's not slippery. The weight is just right. The design really, really nice. Execution excellent. And the cover doubles as a pen stand. So that's pretty clever. The other side holds our extra tips, so you are tip covered for a long, long time unless you press like a maniac and like to chew on pen tips. No, then you're all set. And lastly, our power supply. And since people on our planet like to complicate things, there are different ends for all of those different standards. Because why have just one standard outlet type? That would just be crazy, right? And that's it. Now let's tackle that jigsaw puzzle. I mean, how long can it take? It's just 160 pieces.
So, this is my setup. Of course I have a katana on my table. Come on! Here are the awesome tablet buttons. We'll dive into those shortly. And here we have our USB plug-in cable, our brightness button and of course the turn on button. So, let's talk performance. Now this is a full HD screen and I have to say my initial reactions to uh, like a 13 inch screen for sculpting is uh, I had this feeling it might be too cramped, that my work area might feel too uh, small, but I have to say I was dead wrong. I don't feel like that at all. Even if I felt I needed a little bit more space, I just uh, mapped this key to remove some of these uh, menus. So now I have uh, an even bigger screen real estate to work on. And I have to say, it feels very, very good. And uh, now my camera isn't really capturing the colors correctly, but I can tell you the contrast and the brightness are very, very good. And uh, here we have our buttons. So if you want to increase brightness or decrease it, you can do that very, very easily. Now the reason is, uh, the reason this is upside down is because I'm left-handed. So I had to turn it around. For most of you folks, the buttons are gonna be on this side. And uh, some tablets out there have really bad brightness and contrast, so you lose a lot of information that are in shadows. But here, that is not the case at all. So, let's talk uh, the next important thing, and that's parallaxing. So the parallaxing, is the distance between your pen touching the screen and uh, the cursor so if you have this uh, if this glass is very thick and it has like a lot of layers then you're gonna really kind of notice that you're tapping above uh, above your cursor but when it comes uh, to this particular tablet I have to say I don't feel that at all uh, the further off the screen and into the corners you go, the more you'll notice uh, like a little separation between you and uh, your mouse pointer, just because the calibration works best when you're really in the middle. Um, but uh, I cannot say I'm noticing anything. Uh, so to me, that feels very, very good. I can really start sculpting in here. Without uh, any major issues. Without noticing any problems at all. As far as general latency goes, uh, so as I'm sculpting, I really cannot notice any particular latency whatsoever. So I have to say I'm, I'm really surprised how well uh, I can sculpt on this. And I don't feel cramped. I don't feel like there's some lack of any, any kind. Let's talk about my uh, button setup. My alt button is right here. I use that for navigation inside ZBrush. Right underneath that is my second button that I use a lot, and that is Shift. Shift will activate Smooth, but it will also lock the view. The next one is Control. Control is used for masking. And uh, also a function inside ZBrush that I, of course, use a lot, and that's why it's right here. And the last one, I mapped Control plus Shift. So I can show and hide certain parts of my uh, sculpt. And these four buttons basically allow me to work a long, long time on my sculpt without needing to touch my keyboard. And I think that is just amazing. 
Now I come to these kind of uh, secondary buttons. And of course, I don't want to skip this one because this one is super cool. And I was thinking whether to uh, map uh, the undo key here or the size of my brush. And I'm still kind of experimenting with that. But right now, I have the size of my brush being mapped here. So I can just rotate this and uh, make a stroke and then make my stroke bigger. Uh, rotate, make it smaller. And uh, it's that easy. Now, uh, these buttons here, this one calls up my custom menu that I use a lot when I'm sculpting. And uh, since I didn't map the undo here, I mapped it here. And uh, yeah, this is my undo button. And um, this button, I think it's very, very cool. It maximizes my work area. So uh, that's tab and tab will close some of these menus inside ZBrush. So if you ever need more space when you're working, this is a super quick way to do it. And uh, this one here, honestly, I haven't mapped as of now. And uh, we'll see uh, if something pops and I feel it's really useful and I might put it there. Uh, all of these buttons are my functional buttons that I use a lot while I'm sculpting. And um, yeah, that is my button setup. Okay, time to see this baby in action. Let's do some sculpting. Let me share some of my final thoughts on the tablet as I do the sculpting. Uh, first, my likes. Build quality is really top-notch. I can't see the difference between my Wacom Cintiq and this one. That goes for the pen as well. Let's see if it will stand the test of time and everyday use, but right now, I don't see why not. Colors and contrast are also really good. No complaints there. Again, shoulder to shoulder with my Wacom tablet. Now let's talk about my dislikes. First has nothing to do with this tablet. It has more about tablets with screens in general. And that is ergonomics. It will take a bit of time for your body to get used to this new position while you are sculpting. You are at a bigger risk of discomfort while using the tablet with a screen because we tend to slouch more and bend more over the tablets with the screen. I'm still investigating what is the best setup and position to avoid this. If I find a solution I'm really happy with, I will definitely share. Uh, my biggest problem with this tablet is on the software side of things. When I first plugged in the tablet, everything worked great. But after restarting the computer, my pen just stopped working. Not good. I went online, searched on forums, found people with the same problem. One workaround that I found which fixed the issue was to make XP Pen screen my main display in Windows Display Options. This is a bit of inconvenience because I really don't use it as my main display screen. So now everything I open opens on that screen first and I have to drag it to my actual main display. I really hope XP Pen guys will fix this driver issue soon so I can give it a 10 out of 10 review. That aside, all in all, I'm really truly impressed with this tablet. It is worth every penny. And when you consider the price, which is just $300, that is really amazing. So, I give this tablet my full endorsement. And uh, this is my sculpt. Never sculpted a pillow before, so I thought I'd try it out. Quite happy how it turned out, looks very pillowy. And uh, that wraps up my review. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, drop a comment, send a message. Until next time, this is Milivoj Popovic signing off.